What's going on, everybody? Your boy, Country Boy, back again. Now, there was a 13-year-old girl that got beat up by some grown women. That's right, people. You heard me right. By some sorry-ass, piece of trash, grown women. Now, they got, a, they got on the bus and beat up the girl. They waited, the girl, they waited until the girl got off the bus and beat her up some more. Now, if that had been my son or daughter getting beat up like that, the only thing you guys would have heard was, I'm going to get my gun. That's right, people. That's right. That's right. That's the only thing you people would have heard, man, because somebody going to die quick. Fuck the police. Fuck the principal. Fuck the bus driver, because the bus driver left the girl. Left the girl. Just pulled out. Didn't even try to call the cops. Didn't even try to lock the door. Didn't try to do none of that. Find only here on CBS News Texas. Denton police say they have now launched a criminal investigation after a 13 year old girl was attacked on a school bus by adults. Our Robbie Owen spoke with a family who is looking for answers and a warning. What you're about to see is disturbing. <laughs> The videotaped attack on a 13-year-old girl is horrifying, but what you're seeing here is round two. The chaos first unfolded on a Denton ISD school bus leaving Betty Myers Middle School last week. She said, if I didn't keep my, if I didn't keep her name out my mouth, then she was going to beat me up. This child is the one being attacked by a girl she says she didn't even know. Scared. Like, I was scared. When did you realize that this girl's mother and another adult had gotten on the school bus? When she screamed, Mom. And what went through your mind then? Wish now I had my mama. <laughs> this poor girl. I'm telling you, this is the whole reason why you need fathers in the, these young girls, these children's lives, man. This is the reason why they need fathers, not just great women. Because nobody helped me. <laughs> Her, what she said, because nobody helped her. I feel sorry for her. Not then or earlier. The 13-year-old, who wanted to be called Nicole, says earlier in the day, she started hearing that the girl, new to the school, wanted to fight her. So she did what has so often been asked. She said something. Yes, ma'am. I told the, the um, assistant principal. The same day? The same day. I told the counselor and I told the principal. Nicole says she was later told that school officials spoke to the girl but it didn't seem to matter. We end up fighting. And I want to be really clear, Nicole, who swung first? Who started this fight? She did. And I guess um, one of the women came and put me in a chokehold on the bus. Nicole says after the adults got off the school bus, they followed it to her stop and attacked her again. <laughs> Somehow she was able to phone her mother. And I heard my baby scream out. And no one did anything. No one did anything. Fighting back tears, Nicole's mother says she wonders why the school bus driver failed to act. Had he locked that door, called for help, waited for the police to arrive, those grown adults wouldn't have been able to get on that bus, assault my child, and they wouldn't have been able to follow the bus and continue assaulting her. And then while, he, while they was out there fighting her, it's like he just drove off. Look closely. You can see in this video, the bus pulling away as the teenage girl is being attacked on the ground behind it. I didn't deserve it. I don't think no kid deserves to go through anything like that. Her message to the women who attacked her? I have to look and watch every time when I see a white car. <laughs> and I have to be on watch everywhere I go because of you. Didn't school officials tell me that they are unable to discuss student discipline, but could share that the girl is not returning to the campus. Nicole says she was suspended for three days for defending herself. 
I feel like dancing. How does she get suspended? The girl who got beat up and got suspended. That makes no sense. Some arrests need to be made. ISD failed my child. I could be a parent planning funeral arrangements if they would have had a weapon and got on their bus with a knife or a gun. What is your message to the school? Do better. If a child is reaching out to you and they telling you someone is, is bothering them and, and they trying to avoid the situation, do better. Help them. So what help is there now for Nicole? No, I'm not okay. <laughs> I got hurt physically, but not just physically, emotionally. <sighs> and I have to sit up at night crying about it, asking God why. <sighs> but I also pray for them. Because <laughs> it's... My mom taught me, just because they did you wrong, it's all for a reason, it's all for purpose. The other night when, when she said, Mom, let's pray, and she grabbed my hand and began to pray for them, I'm like, okay. You know? She's going to be all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe she'll be okay. And that was our Robbie Owens reporting. The teen was taken to the hospital later that night to be treated for her injuries. In a statement, a district spokesperson told us, this horrible video depicts unacceptable conduct that Denton ISD never condones, including an adult unlawfully boarding a school bus. They also say Denton ISD has criminally trespassed the adults involved and those individuals are no longer welcome on any Denton ISD property. Following the situation, transportation officials addressed the driver, reinforced procedures, and provided additional training. True that's, story now. That's the end of the video, you guys. I need you guys to like this video, share this video, and get this video out to the algorithm. Let YouTube know and all the other folks on YouTube that Goku TV rocks here. Country boys here. Um... <clears throat> You know, make it go viral, man. Let everybody see this video, man. Because it need to be heard. It need to be seen and whatnot. Um, the, they talking about praying to God. Now, I ain't never, I pray to God every day. I pray to Jesus every day, you know. But certain things you can't pray away. You can't pray away crime. You can't pray away evil people. There's only one way to deal with evil people. There's only one way, people, to deal with with shit like this. You know what I'm saying? There's only one fucking way. And one way only. I'm going to get my gun. That's right, people. Go get your fucking gun and shoot their ass up. Because they'll be my daughter. Somebody been died.